Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nurmal here and in this video, we will be looking at the OnePlus Oxygen OS 13. So OnePlus had announced the Oxygen OS 13 at the launch of the OnePlus 10T and the Oxygen OS 13 is based on the Android 13. Now we have uh, the OnePlus uh, 10 Pro which has got uh, this update. In fact, this is not the uh, final update but this is the beta version. So you have to manually install it. You won't get this as uh, uh, the OTA update uh, because it's not yet rolled out because this is just a beta version. So if you want to try out the beta version, uh, you have to install this on the OnePlus 10 Pro. So right now only OnePlus 10 Pro is uh, available for this update. So we have the OnePlus 10 Pro. So you can uh, see that now it is uh, having uh, the Oxygen OS uh, 12, 12 12.1 in fact and this is Android version 12. You can see that uh, this is the OnePlus 10 Pro 5G and uh, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip. Now uh, we have uh, got the update uh, for this. This is around 4.5 gigabyte in size and you have to manually install it. If you want to manually install it, you have to install uh, the app called System Update. The APK will be available in the uh, description. This is the official System Update app from OnePlus. Uh, but uh, this is uh, since uh, the existing update will not uh, allow you to manually install you have to install this app now once you install this app we'll show you how to upgrade so right now this is uh, the oxygen os 12 you can see this is uh, the look and style of the oxygen os 12 and uh, let's um, go ahead and update so once you open the app just click on this icon and you can see that uh, the update is here i've copied this update from my pc to the phone uh, the internal storage of the phone and i'm going to select this so you can see a local upgrade so uh, to ensure the data integrity please perform a backup so you need to perform a backup before you go ahead with this so make sure you uh, actually this won't uh, lose your data but uh, uh, just uh, make sure you take a backup so just click install and uh, now i'm going to update uh, the oneplus 10 pro to oxygen os 13 and android 13. so once the update is completed we'll come back and show you the look and feel of this device so now we have installed the update and rebooted the device and you can see here this os update is based on android 13 beta version uh, the os uh, on your device is based on the beta version so some features may not work properly and you might encounter bugs so this is just a test version so if you are using the oneplus 10 pro as your primary smartphone uh, better don't update it because it might have bugs and crashes so let's see now so let's just swiping out so you can see here your system has been updated so let's agree all the aspects okay click okay then click done so welcome so get started so now uh, we have uh, installed the latest version you can see that at all the apps uh, which was available previously is still there so this is uh, the new oxygen os uh, uh, 13 so let's just go to the about phone about device you can see here oxygen os version 13 of the official version and uh, everything is mentioned here uh, a more uh, detailed page is available right now you can see here screen size is also there then android version the front cameras are also listed here so it's uh, more of an updated version you can see that now the ui looks uh, more different actually compared to the previous version now we have uh, a bit more clarity here uh, then special features you can see here some additional options are there flexible windows uh, quick return uh, quickly go back to an app by tapping uh, the quick return window that's something new quick launch is there smart sidebar is there you can see here smart sidebar option is also included here uh, you can add apps uh, to the uh, smart sidebar then the kid space uh, simple mode is there this is kind of new i would say uh, in the simple mode uh, we'll just uh, show you the simple mode so you can see here very large icons uh, this is the simple mode and uh, there's no app drawer basically just a uh, uh, simple mode so this is the new version so let's just uh, exit this simple mode uh, first of all so exiting the simple mode so now we are back uh, to the regular option so this is the app drawer so app drawer doesn't have much of a difference here you can see here almost uh, similar so settings uh, if you go uh, let's see other options available uh, you can see work life balance so additional options are there we'll just uh, quickly compare uh, with oneplus uh, oxygen os 12.1 as well on the oneplus 10t but before that uh, let's just go to the notification toggles uh, you can see the new notification toggles looks much better the font is uh, the original oneplus font the black and red font uh, then uh, we have uh, this uh, wi-fi icon here sim 
then uh, the music playback here we have the option to edit tile uh, multi user active apps uh, you can see uh, the active apps whatever active apps is there then uh, the brightness options and then all the other widgets are there you can go ahead and uh, edit tiles also so these options you can even uh, remove the wi-fi and mobile data tiles uh, so this is how the new notification toggles look like now let's uh, see the uh, app management so here you don't see much of a difference it's almost uh, the similar ui let's also uh, see the camera ui if there is any major difference so camera ui not much of a difference i would say you can see here portrait more um, not much uh, different here uh, quite similar to but icons are kind of uh, different slightly different uh, but uh, no major change i would say uh, here you can see here resolution uh, small minor changes are there uh, but not major ones so let's uh, do a quick uh, comparison with uh, the one plus uh, uh, oxygen os um, 12.1 so on the left uh, is the oxygen os 13 and here we have oxygen os 12 so let's uh, just take the settings here and uh, i'll just show you so here you can see that icons are now grouped uh, and you can see that uh, it's grouped uh, in this rectangular option previously only two lines were there now it's grouped more more or less like the older oxygen os now you can also see that uh, the options are remaining almost same you can uh, see uh, wi-fi mobile and bluetooth uh, wallpaper and style uh, home screen and lock screen so wallpaper and style is the new option uh, basically the option remains the same but the naming has been changed now you can see here wallpaper colors um, then uh, fingerprint animation edge lighting uh. so uh, more or less similar you can see that always on display themes a uh, font has been removed to this portion then you get uh, the colors uh, fingerprint animation horizon light is called now edge lighting uh, so that's the change then apart from that let's uh, go ahead and see other options so uh, display and brightness uh, home screen uh, all uh, remains uh, similar uh, then uh, we have uh, apps uh, battery management uh, remaining the again similar uh, options so special features uh, here you can see that lot of options uh, previously we had the quick launch uh, split screen uh, then uh, work life uh, balance uh, one plus shelf so these are options are there now oneplus shelf uh, is kind of not sure whether it's uh, available or not but you can see here uh, kids space um, smart sidebar has been added to this and then uh, uh, flexible window split screen uh, and a quick return option these are the available in the special features mentioned here so probably it might be grouped uh, also then uh, additional settings uh, you can see that uh, just as uh, there um, let's just go to the additional options here as well So here you can see here more, more or less similar assistive ball is there uh, uh, one handed mode uh, gestures and motion so quite similar here uh, now it's more or less additional settings not the system settings now about the device as I said before has been changed you can see the new look and feel of uh, the about uh, phone. Uh, frankly this definitely looks good right now uh, we have to wait and see how this will change this looks more like uh, the older oxygen os uh, than the color os this is more of a color os inspired design but uh, this feels slightly better actually but again this is more of a personal choice what do you guys think whether it's uh, better or not so great so you can uh, see that uh, uh, here the the toggles are also changed for example airplane mode a uh, toggle has been changed uh, previously it was uh, the airplane uh, towards the top now it's towards the right corner then wi-fi icon also has been changed so uh, some uh, changes are there obviously here then the icon uh, shape and size remains the same not much of difference now the app drawer also looks uh, quite similar no major difference once again uh, the uh, the app management also looks quite similar so majority of the changes are in the settings and also the notification toggle so you can see here this is the notification toggle a big change here uh, now you don't have this uh, square thing it's complete entire screen right now and uh, you can uh, see other options so these are uh, uh, the tools available in the uh, oxygen os 13 now this is the beta version uh, as i said before let's also look at uh, the camera ui so not much of a difference uh, this red button is because of the Hasselblad branding and not uh, because of uh, the new update so similar UI actually uh, you can uh, see here let's just uh, go to the video and uh, let's take uh, so again a similar UI I don't see much of a difference here so camera is uh, not much changed uh, majority of the changes are in the settings and uh, also in the notification toggles.
So another change is in the enlarge folder. So we, here we have a folder. Here also we have a folder. If you press on the, uh, the Android 12 version, uh, we don't see other options other than remove and remove folder. Now if you press on the Android 13, you can see here enlarge folder is there. So just clicking enlarge, uh, we have a very enlarged folder here. The icons are slightly bigger and uh, now we have the enlarge folder option. So this is a new option in uh, the Android uh, 13. Uh, on the Oxygen OS 13. Now another change is uh, the way you can access the OnePlus shelf. Uh, just swipe a uh, bottom and you can see here OnePlus shelf. So this is the OnePlus uh, shelf. Uh, previously it was uh, from uh, uh, the side and now we have the OnePlus uh, shelf here. So this is how you can access. Very uh, quick access is there now. Previously uh, we'll just uh, shrink the folder. So previously it was uh, from a different location. Now just swipe um, from the bottom towards the bottom and uh, you get the OnePlus uh, shelf. Now let's uh, take a screenshot. Uh, now you can see more uh, editing options are there in the screenshot tool. Uh, you can see that uh, there are a few more options in the screenshot tool. Uh, this is again added a uh, new uh, in this uh, UI. Now if you go to the always on display, you get the Bitmoji canvas and custom patterns are there. Uh, you can see a lot of options are there in uh, the always on display here we used to have only a uh, few options now it's uh, changed here so you can see here more personalized options are there so this is another change now apart from this there are uh, additional uh, security and privacy options uh, it has optimized uh, the private safe uh, with uh, advanced encryption standard that's AES standard uh, now used in uh, the, uh, the uh, private uh, safe option then uh, add us uh, adds a skid space uh, providing screen time limit as just showed uh, you the uh, uh, the skid space here so special features uh, kid space is there uh, you can see here dedicated home screen health uh, healthy screen time habits eye protection mode so these are option available in the kid space uh, so these are some of the options uh, the new options uh, in the oneplus oxygen os 13 so these are the features available right now so it uh, looks definitely good uh, we'll have to wait and see what all uh, new features uh, comes up uh, in the next iteration so this is how the oxygen os 13 looks like on the oneplus 10 pro and we are just compared with the oneplus 20 with the oxygen os 12.1 so what do you guys think about the new oxygen os um, uh, 13 do let us know your thoughts in the comment section now if you want to upgrade uh, uh, we have the link uh, for both first you need to install the oneplus updater app it's an apk file you just need to install because if you want to manually install update uh, with the new versions of oxygen OS, you need this apk this is an official apk once you install the apk you can just copy the uh, the file the update file around 4.5 gigabyte in size onto the uh, uh, the device and then select that file it will update uh, to the latest version but remember this version will have a bugs and also uh, there might be some features missing because it's a beta version so that's it for this video we'll update whenever uh, we have new features coming up in the oxygen os 13 so do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day